on your life A to Z. We're serving up a spot of afternoon tea made easy. And we'll enjoy performances from the award-winning Vista Groove Performing Arts Program. Bass, we're glad you're joining us today. We'll see Lisa a little bit a little bit later, but Linda Davis and I Hello. are giving her a little bit of a break, cool. and we're going to learn about that little girl coming up in a minute. Oh, it's amazing! And look who's in the kitchen. It's Wendy oh. Marley from Pilates by Marley, and she is with <laughs> Chef Tony Hamadi from Bravo Bistro. Now, Wendy is the chef's recipe going to help us get that hourglass figure. <laughs> That's right. I, hopefully, he's not doing anything real fattening today. Are no, you, Ch no, Chef no, Tony? No, no, no. It's very what healthy today. We we're doing a chicken piccata Ooh. with a little pasta. It's very healthy and very easy. Terrific. Do you serve this at, at Bravo Bistro? Of course. Of course. Oh, and right. then we're going to work on our hourglass figure. I've had a lot of people say, how do I get that back? So I'm going to show you some, some cool moves this, uh, later on. You know what, Linda? I'm going to let you do that. How about do that? I, the Just, cool moves? Yeah. I'm ready, Marlene. Yeah. You're you don't, right. need, them. You don't need them, but you know. Yeah. Since oh, you're no, here, I do. we're going to put you to work some extra work. Get in shape. <laughs> That's right. Plus, our Make It Yourself mom, Sherry Klein, is serving up afternoon tea to her lovely ladies. Aww. Now, the last time you brought on one of your granddaughters, it was Ava. Who did you bring this time? I brought with me today my other two our lovely ladies. This is Shelly, and this is Grace, and we're all excited to show everybody how we do tea at Nana's house. Ooh, that looks, wow, <laughs> they're so poised. I know, uh, well look who their grandmother is. I know, well we'd be just eating and slurping already, Gail. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I could have used some elegance <laughs> classes, you know. <laughs> charm school would have been something I that know. I really could have benefited from. I could have from. forfeited that fourth year of college and just gone to charm school. I uh, not off. you. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You are practically perfect in every way, as no. I like to say. And, no. and now it's time to live and learn with Linda Davis, who this is something they will not teach you in college. Right. But <laughs> you'll learn it in kindergarten. Though. That's yeah. right. Now, what I have here, Gail, mm -hmm. are three little activities. One of them, the last one I'm going to do, is mm -hmm. perfect for the tea party with the girls. Mm -hmm. So we'll incorporate that. But I have come up with three ideas that kind of get the kids back and ready for school, mm -hmm. but they're not school activities. So they're kind of things that work on some skills that they'll need later on. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start with this one. And this one is purely for the girls, I think. But it's interesting because years ago, I bought a little journal for a friend as a gift. Mm -hmm. And it was a small little steno book, but it had these ribbons tied onto the end. I think I probably paid $10 more for it because really? it had the ribbons. Mm -hmm. But it was so cute that I figured out how to make it, and I thought it would be wonderful for the girls to personalize their little notebooks and take back to school. Mm -hmm. And what this does is interesting because it works on some skills mm -hmm. like um, little little motor skills yes. with tying, and then also with patterning and sequencing, which is great for reading. Mm -hmm. So if they've been sitting in front of the TV all summer, yes. this is great. All you have to do is to get any notebook with a spiral binding, okay? Right. And then you're gonna just find scraps of ribbon that are about, oh, let me see, that's about, what, a quarter or a third of an inch mm -hmm. wide. This one right here goes on to about an inch, a half inch wide, and that's probably the widest you'll wanna go, because okay. otherwise it just gets too too much to tie. I noticed you said this is a spiral. These are double spirals. Can you use the other one that's a single that goes all the way down? Totally. You can use mm -hmm. any kind of a sing any kind of a spiral. This one here, interestingly, which I loved how it turned out, I bought this at Target for like a dollar fifty, mm -hmm. and so it's really cheap. And then I actually found the ribbon in my scrap drawer, or also <clears> at a craft store, Joanne, mm -hmm. that matched it. So I didn't find them in the same place. And let me give you a hint about this. Let me pull this over here. These little spools that you can find at the craft store store are only a dollar. So if you want to find a real cool print on a mm -hmm. ribbon, then you can find those for a dollar and it's just enough. Can I show this off real quick, Linda? I oh, love okay. this. Linda is so, she's so practical. Look what she put together. Here's her, here's her. Those are my ribbons. These are your ribbons all organized on a hanger. And I was like, how did she get it up? You untie, untied it. Yeah. Put some electrical tape. Well, at first I put the ribbon spools on. Uh, well, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I guess I, if I knew you were showing it, I would have jazzed it up okay. a little bit. You just tie some ribbon around it. Yeah, and it just hangs in my closet. Yeah, in I my like that idea. I just wanted so, to show that off. Okay. Keep some straight. So let me go back to this, because this is really easy how it works. <laughs> All me. you literally do, Gail, is just f spring those through the spiral here. <laughs> 
Excuse me. Now, this is, are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I'm fine. This is really good for any child age that can tie. Okay, mm -hmm. obviously you have to tie. Now, if your child is younger and still and yet can't tie, remember, you can do it with someone or an older child can do it with them, and then they can help with the pattern. For example, they can say, you know, orange, white, pink. Orange, white, pink. Now, what's going to oh. come next? Orange. Orange. Okay. Yay, I learned but something today. You know today. what, and it sounds really simple, but it's a really important skill to get their brain going. So mm -hmm. even if your child can't yet tie, but if they can, you know, we don't tie our shoes much anymore, so this is a real good good skill for those small motor skills that gets them ready to write again. Now, you have something else here you wanted to show. Yes, let me show you the other one. Now, this is another variation on a notebook, and I thought <clears> this <throat> one would be really good for boys or girls. And what I love about this one is that this one is a real quick and easy way to get their brains thinking about who they are. Almost every grade, one of the first assignments you get is to write a paragraph or to make a picture about who you are. Mm -hmm. Who am I? Right. And so this gets them thinking that way. It also is a great conversation starter if they make one to make uh -huh. friends with other kids or even to let the teacher know something about them. Ah. All it is is decoupage. You're going to buy Mod Podge at any craft store. It's a decoupage material. You just take any photos, cut them out from magazines. You can print them out on heavy paper. And all you're going to do, that's my little dog, Austin. They can put oh. per, um, pictures from home. They're going to glue it on first and then you're going to go all over over it with this Mod Podge. And it gives it the shiny. Now finish. your kid's gonna freak. They're gonna go, you're messing it up, it's all white. But it's but what it's gonna do is it's just gonna dry clear and shiny, protect that so they won't come off. And you know what, this is a great idea for parents who, if money is tight and you have to buy them the, the, the plain cheap folder. Cheapo. Yeah, this was this, just a cheapo. This that one you... I think was 30 cents or something. Or you could probably even find one in your closet. Yeah. So, and then what I did to finish the end is I just used my electrical tape. You can also use duct tape just to finish that off so they won't peel. But it's mm -hmm. a really easy way for them to get their own little personal touch. Can to I it. just say that hodgepodge takes me back to kindergarten I when I smell hodgepodge. that glue. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Linda. These You're are welcome. great. And you'll be back later to I'll, show us something a little more. I'll be more. back with headbands, which is which are huge right now for little girls. Ooh, headbands huge. are huge. Huge. Who knew? <laughs> little girls did. All right, if you would like more information, just check out Linda's article on our website at azfamily.com forward slash your life. Or, you know, you could go to our Your Life A to Z Facebook page. We have stuff there, too, because we are connected. <laughs> Coming up, we'll check out the new Arrowhead Health Clinic that just opened in Mesa, and we'll hear more from the students at Vista Grove Preparatory Academy. Does it seem like every time you take the family out to eat, a small fortune gets sucked out of your wallet just on sodas alone? They're gouging the customer. Three on your side is thirsting for answers. Find out why these days restaurant beverages are busting your budget today at 5.30 on 3TV. When you're in a wreck, time matters. The amount of time it takes to get medical treatment or hire a lawyer can affect the value of your case. The faster you call us, the faster we can get you the money you deserve. Or a learner in a row. Oh, Remember the feeling you had when on 3 TV. Our, our it's been called the best kept secret in the East Valley. Vista Grove Preparatory Academy is a small school with big advantages. And joining me now are our music teacher, Marianne Cook, who, and uh, school leader, Abelardo Batista, and some of the talented students in the performing arts program. And, you know, we've seen some of the students performing already this morning. But you guys are a, kind of a, a special secret that nobody knows about in the East Valley. What makes you guys so special? Vista Grove Preparatory Academy is a school where dreams are born. Mm -hmm. uh, students have a care, caring and safe environment mm -hmm. um, where their dreams can be born from kindergarten to ninth grade. Then they develop the dreams mm -hmm. with building skills and with a strong core curriculum and strong teachers. And then the dreams flourish with sports and an award-winning performing arts program. Now, speaking of the awards, uh, award-winning performing arts program, Marianne, you're the music teacher. Yes, Tell us about why you guys are so successful. 
Well, we start students really young. Mm -hmm. And we just believe that they have such potential to grow in mm -hmm. music. I mean, these are these guys were in third grade last year, so wow. they've been they've been playing for one year, mm -hmm. and uh, it's pretty amazing what they can do. But we just believe that any student given an opportunity is able to uh, reach all kinds of goals, and so we give them every opportunity we can find. You know, I heard once somewhere that students that play uh, instruments also do better in math. Yes, they do. Uh -oh. it, math and music are are connected in the brain. No. Yeah, mm. and they, they just do better. They 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 I, I, I don't. I don't know what it does, okay, but I just know they do better. <laughs> <laughs> They're scientists that figured that That's out. That's right. All right, well, tell us what you guys are going to play for us. We're going to play a piece called Miniature Symphony, mm -hmm. and this is just a small group, a small portion of our orchestra. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are still on vacation. Mm -hmm. But we got together, and we've been practicing, and so we want to play Miniature Symphony. Oh, I want you to play for us. I'm okay. very excited, boys and girls. Are you ready? <laughs> it was like everybody snapped to attention. <laughs> if you would like more information about Vista Grove Preparatory Academy, just visit them online at vistagroveprep.com or call this number you see right there on your screen. And the student orchestra, it's your turn. I'm going to step out and you guys take it away. Oh. One, two, three, four. 